Welcome everybody to this broadcast. Everybody that's watching live. Welcome everybody that's watching on your uh, iPhone. Everybody who's watching TV and all what's uh, on the replay. BG, where are you coming from? What's your name? Amen. God bless you. Let me get this camera turned around here. There we go. Amen. Praise God. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? How you doing, Sister Cheryl Ann? How you doing today? God bless you. How you doing, Lord Jesus Christ, today? Share and invite your followers. Amen. How you doing, Lord Jesus Christ, today? God bless you all. Y'all forgive me for my tardiness for being late today. It is now 9.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm late. I have a good reason for being late today, y'all. Today is Super Tuesday. Today is voting day here in the United States. And guess what? I went and voted. I'm a Georgia voter. Amen. I went and voted, y'all. I cast my ballot. And I admonish you all to do to your civic duty as well. Those of you who want to willingly participate in the political process. You know, there's no law saying that you have to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like that. But if you are uh, pray and then vote. I should have put that in the uh, in the title. That's what I meant to do. Say pray and then vote. But that's our theme for the day. Pray and then vote. Amen. Praise God. Well, we had some people come and go. Let's see if they're going to come back here. Amen. Uh, it looks a little different today. Uh, it's overcast here in Georgia. Uh, sun been peeking through. I think it might come out some today. I got the light on me right there. It's not the best look. Uh, maybe if I turn down the light. Hold on a second. Let me see. Is that better? Wait a minute. That's, that's even darker. Seems like. Hold on. Y'all bear with me. Let me see if I can get the proper lighting. Maybe, maybe that overhead light may do for now. Yeah, we can we gotta make it work some kind of way. Let me turn down the speeds a little bit. Amen. Praise God. Let me take, uh, anyway, for the, uh, the all yours, for all those who don't know me, my name is Tracy Smith. I'm a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, a prayer intercessor. Amen. Um, a disciple maker, a soul winner, disciple maker, you know what I'm saying, to equip the saints to do the work of the uh, ministry and evangelist, you know what I'm saying, using the tool of Periscope to go on all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. Also. Uh, let me get back to this and make my intro. Also, uh, my ministry is called Sowers of the Word, based on the parable of the sower that Jesus told in the account of Matthew chapter 13. Good morning, Sister Rena. How are you doing in the Lord Jesus Christ today? Share and invite your followers. Amen. Jesus told the parable of the sower. The sower goes forth. He sows the seed. The seed falls on different types of soils, and it yields different types of results. Our prayer today is that God will prepare um. The seed is representative of the word of God and the soils are representatives of people's hearts. God bless you and your family, my brother. Amen. Thank you very much, my dear sister. Likewise, my God bless you, your family, your bloodline and uh, all those you're inviting as well. Amen. God bless you. Amen. The seed is representative of the word of God and uh, soils are representatives of our hearts, people's hearts. So our prayer today is that God will prepare our hearts to receive with meekness his engrafted word, which is able to save our souls. But we be not just hearers of the word, but we be doers of the word because his promise is that he would bless us in our deeds and our application and doing of the word. Herein is our heavenly father glorified that we bear much fruit, some 30 fold, some 60 fold, some 100 fold. Amen. Praise God. Amen. How you all doing to, in the Lord Jesus Christ today? Uh, are you any one of you guys are living here in America? You know, today is a uh, voting day here in America and a lot of states. It's Super Tuesday. Blessings. May heaven smile upon you. Amen. Thank you very much, my dear sister, Cheryl Ann. God bless you, your family, and your bloodline as well. Amen. Share and invite your followers. Tap that screen. Give us a love offering of 500 hearts. We ask, amen, pray for me, my bloodline, amen, in this ministry and that all that God is sending here uh, to be blessed, amen, that we can serve and intercede on their behalf, that they can also intercede on behalf of others, and also that he would send souls here, that he's drawing us repentance so we can facilitate their salvation planting seeds of the gospel, watering seeds of the, that's already been planted, and through wisdom, 
harvest many souls into his kingdom for he that win of souls is wise. That's the kind of wisdom that we want. Amen. To win souls. Our scripture reading is going to be coming from first Peter, first Peter chapter two, verse 11 through 17. Verse 11 through 17, 1 Peter chapter 2. So open your Bibles. Anytime you come here, have your Bible open, have a pad, have a pen, because as the Lord lead me, you know what I'm saying? I just begin to speak an utterance of a, of a word. And, I don't, you know, you ain't got to be running all over the Bible. You just take it down and then you can go back and search the scriptures to see if they're so just like the Bereans. Amen. Thank you, Sister Rena, for putting that up there. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 11 through 17. Amen. It's, a, uh, it's broken down in two parts, but I'm going to read it as a whole. Verse 11 through 12, which is just two verses, is talking about living before the world. As Christians, how we are to live before the world. And verse 13 through 17 is talking about submission to government. Okay? We, uh, as children of the kingdom, we have responsibility how to live in the world. Amen. Is representing uh, God, the kingdom of God in the earth, and how we are supposed to. We have dual citizenship. You know what I'm saying? We are children of the kingdom, and also we're citizens. Uh, we're citizens of heaven, and also we're citizens in the earth realm. In the perspective countries that we live in, we have governors that rule and uh, reign over us. That you know, the scripture is going to admonish us to be subject unto the higher powers. Amen. You know, the only time we're supposed to rebel against, you know, what I'm saying a uh, civic authority is when they're trying to impose laws on us that con that that try to command us not to obey God. We don't have to obey such laws. Amen. We have to obey God because he uh, is our uh, our Lord and master. You know, what I'm saying our king, our God, we ultimately have to stand, uh, stand before him to give an account of our lives. If they're telling, trying to make a law to tell us don't obey God, and his word, that's apostasy. You know, no, I don't care what the consequences and the results are. If I have to give my life, I would not deny him. For he said, if we deny him before men, he would deny us before his father, which is in heaven. Amen. Praise God. And also living before the world in those two scriptures is giving us uh, about the Christian call about holiness and how we ought to conduct ourselves. Amen. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Amen. Uh, but we're going to use this time primarily for prayer, for supplications, prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks. Amen. And be made for all men, for kings, and all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness. That's the foundation. First uh, Peter, I mean, uh, first Timothy, I'm sorry. First Timothy chapter two, verses one through four is the foundation of this prayer ministry. Uh, so is it a word. Amen. It says, I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercession and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Amen. Praise God. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Let's go to the throne of God's grace. Let's invite uh, the Holy Spirit in. In, to lead us and guide us into all truth that we know saying so that way we can pray in the spirit amen if we ask anything according to the will of god we know that he hears us and we have the petition that we desire to him because we ask and pray according to his will amen let's lift up holy hands without wrath and doubting amen thank you heavenly father for letting us live to see another beautiful day lord we ask you to comfort the hearts of those who have lost their loved ones within the last 24 hours who are not allowed to enjoy this beautiful day that you have made lord we ask you to accomplish Comfort their hearts, Lord, and, you know, comfort their hearts and restore unto them the joy of your salvation and draw their lives unto repentance that they might be saved. We ask you, Lord, that you will use us this day for your praise and glory, for the building up of the body of Christ of itself in love, to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry, to boldly proclaim the mystery of the gospel, to boldly share our testimonies, and through your divine wisdom, harvest and win many souls into your kingdom. We ask that you would give us the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, strength, power, gifts of the spirits, all the talents, resources, uh, and, re and helps that we need to bring you total praise and glory. And as we have therefore opportunity, help us to do good unto all men, especially unto those of the household of faith. We ask that you would create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Forgive us our sins uh, by omission and commission. Holy Spirit, we ask that you will apply the blood of Jesus over our our spirit, man, our minds, bodies, souls, our uh, wills, our emotions. Give us the Father's peace and make us whole. Help us to present our bodies unto you as a living sacrifice 
holy, acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. And help us not to be conformed to this world, but help us to be transformed by the renewing of our minds that we may prove what is that good, perfect, and acceptable will of God. Help us not to think too highly of ourselves, but to think soberly as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Help us to live by faith, for whatsoever is not a faith is sin. Keep back your servant from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over us, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to help us to be strong in you, Lord, and in the power of your might. Help us to put on the full armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles, tricks, and schemes of the devil. And help us to pray in the power of the Holy Spirit and make supplication for the saints and for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. We ask you, the Holy Spirit, to fill us with your Holy Spirit. Give us an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying unto your churches, unto your ecclesia, your called out ones. Help us not to be forgetful hearers, so help us be doers of your word and the power of your Holy Spirit and bless us in our deeds. Moreover, bless us that we may be a blessing to many for your praise and glory, for the application of the body of Christ and that souls may be saved. If there's anything in our lives that's not well pleasing unto you, Lord, reveal it to us. Help us to acknowledge, help us to confess and repent of it and to forsake Take it, Lord. Help us not lean to our own understanding. Help us to acknowledge you in all our ways. And we ask that you would direct our path in thought, word, and deed, mind, body, soul, and spirit, and in truth. We ask you, Lord, to send the souls whom you have ordained to be here at this time so we can make intercession for the saints according to the will of God and that they also could be partakers of this ministry as well. And we ask you, Lord, to send the souls whom you are drawing unto repentance for no man can come unto the Father unless the Father draw him and use us in the process, Lord, to facilitate their salvation and discipleship. In Jesus Christ's name, we ask and pray and help us be always be mindful to give you all the praise and all the glory in all things. In Jesus Christ's name, we ask and pray. Amen. If y'all don't agree with that prayer, type amen, share and invite your followers, tap that screen, give me hearts, let me know you're still with me. Amen. Praise God. Our scripture reading today is coming from 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 11 through 17. And it reads as thus. I'm going to read this out of the New King James Version Study Bible. And it reads, verse 11, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 11 reads, Beloved, good health, protection, prosperity for me and my family. Okay, sister, hold on. Hold on a moment. I'm going to read the scripture and then I'm going to take your prayer request. Okay? Amen. Open your Bibles. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 11. It reads as thus. Beloved. You know what I'm saying? The apostle Peter is writing to the people of God and he's addressing them as beloved. We are beloved of the Lord. Beloved. He says, I beg you as sojourners and, and, and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles meaning unbelievers, that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may, by your good works, which they observe, glorify God in the day of visitation. Verse 13, therefore, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether to the king as supreme or to governors, as to those who are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good, you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free, yet not using your liberty or your freedom as a cloak for vice, but as bond servants of God. Honor all people, love the brotherhood, Fear God, honor the king. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for the, uh, his word, uh, for not only the hearers of his word, for moreover, that we ask that God will bless the doers of his word. Amen. Praise God. At this time, you can type in your prayer request and we're going to uh, intercede for you on behalf of you, taking it, going boldly to the throne of God's grace that we may find more grace and mercy and help in our time of need. I think our dear sister, uh, Cheryl Ann, she, uh, her prayer request was to, for prosperity, you know what I'm saying, and blessings to her and her family. And Lord, 
Lord, we ask and pray, Lord. Use uh, uh, 1 John chapter 1, verse 2 says, uh, Beloved, I wish or pray above all things that you will prosper and be in health, even as your soul prosper. And Lord, we ask and pray that you would do that for our dear sister, Cheryl Ann, and her family and our whole family bloodline. Help them to be faithful over that which is least and make them ruler over much. In Jesus Christ's name, but moreover, Lord, bless them to be a blessing to many for your praise and glory for the building up of your kingdom and that souls may be saved. In Jesus Christ's name, we ask and pray. Y'all agree with that prayer? Type amen. Share and invite your followers if you haven't already done. Tap that screen. Give me a love offering of 500 hearts throughout the broadcast. Amen. Let your requests be made known and the peace of God will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Come on, keep your prayer requests coming. Amen. Keep your prayer requests coming. Amen. Our foundation, you know, scripture of this uh, ministry, which is so fitting, you know what I'm saying? It's First Peter chapter 2. This is Super Tuesday. If you haven't already did it, if you're in a, a citizen of the United States, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to participate in the political process, you know what I'm saying? Go to your polling stations and cast your vote. I went this morning, took me less than 10 minutes. I'm a Georgia voter, y'all. I cast my ballot, you know, took me less than 10 minutes. So if you could do it better or sooner than later, do it. Because, you know what I'm saying, and the people are going to be going on their lunch break. It's going to be long lines when people get off work. The polls close at 7 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know what I'm saying? So uh, when other, uh, uh, I think some other states that may be Central Time as well. But it's 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So go out and cast your vote. First, we admonish you to pray, then vote. Pray first and then cast your vote. You know what I'm saying? Pray and then cast your vote. So that you won't be making a, a vote, uh, a casting a vote rashly or based on uh, prejudices or, or biases. We want to be uh, uh, in the will of God because the powers that be or that's going to be, whether we vote or not, are going to be ordained of God. Amen. If we want to be a partaker in the political process and in agreement with the will of God, we got to pray first and then cast our vote. Amen. Praise God. Come on, y'all. Keep the prayer requests coming. Let me see if I can find some more music to fill the, the, the void uh, between your prayer requests. Y'all pray for my strength in the Lord as well. I got it on Jesus culture. Let me find something a little bit more upbeat. If I can. Get out. Let's see. Maybe some traditional gospel. Let's see what's going on here. Sound a little slow. Uh, let church say amen. All right. God favor me. Come on, y'all. The favor of God is on our life. Amen. Don't worry about your haters. Come on now. Amen. Amen. What happened to our participation? Even then took off already. Maybe they're going to vote. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they're going to pray and then vote. Amen. Praise God. Y'all excuse me while I get me some tea. I'm going to try to pull my, uh, get me, reach over here and get me some tea. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Lord, I'll be here with you. Amen. It's now 9.19 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We want to do this anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes to an hour, as long as we have participation. If we don't, you know what I'm saying, if the uh, Lord willing, I would just preach the word. You know what I'm saying? I know people like to get to hear the word preached. They have tick, they have itching ears, but it's not to mean that, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, everybody's going to be in agreement. You know what I'm saying? Because it can come in the form of exhortation. It can come in the form of reproof and rebuke. You know what I'm saying? Or correction. And here we endeavor to give the full counsel of God. Amen. Put a cough drop in here. Amen. Yes, it is. <laughs> Y'all, excuse me. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Praise God. We're having time participation. Uh, a dip on me. Maybe they're going to pray and vote. Maybe they're going to pray and vote. Of course, you know, some uh, Christian uh, sects or whatever uh, denominations, whatever, they don't believe in Christians should vote. Uh, I, you know, I was like on the fence about that, but God gave me peace. But why would God tell us to submit to the governing authorities? Let every soul be subject to the higher powers because the powers that be are ordained of God. You know what I'm saying? God want uh, our witness to, to go all the way up to the heads of state and nations. You know what I'm saying? God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come into repentance. He told uh, Paul, the apostle Paul, you are going to go to Rome and you're going to bear witness, you know what I'm saying, before kings. You know what I'm saying? So God is not willing that any should perish. You know what I'm saying? So we have to, you know what I'm saying, go out into all the world, you know what I'm saying, and be a witness. So I'm not saying go to the script club or whatever like that. If God tell you to go and witness to somebody specifically or whatever, then obey God. You know what I'm saying? That is if God told you to do that. But don't try to use that just to say, when you say go out to all the world, that's why I'm up in the script club. That's why I'm up in the club and the bar. No, you know what I'm saying? You know, use wisdom. I mean, if God tell you to, to go into to witness to somebody and get somebody, whatever, you know, obey God, but don't go on, you know, don't go, you know, just obey God. That's all I got to say. Amen. Pray and then obey God. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, because some particular Christian, so-called Christian denominations, or they might consider to be cult Christian denominations, they don't believe in partaking in the political process because Jesus is our king. They kind of feel like, well, we casting a vote for a man and uh man-made kingdoms and governments that's like apostasy and we're going against the, ki the kingdom of god but our prayer is that god's you know saying will may be done on earth as it is in heaven that his uh his kingdom come you know what i'm saying and it be uh kingdom come that's our that's a, uh, our prayer you know what i'm saying and so we do pray that but god works through humanity he works through governments as well you know what i'm saying we're not perfect but god you know what i'm saying he's working all things together for the good of him that love him, that love him, and for those that are called according to his purpose. You know what I'm saying? All things. That means politics, politicians, all of them. And so we're supposed to be praying for them. You know what I'm saying? Not slandering them. And we know that, you know, some of them are not being uh, good candidates. They're slandering one another, throwing mud, you know what I'm saying? Uh, jesting and, and, and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? We got to pray for them. You know what I'm saying? That if they are going to be the leaders, you know what I'm saying? What they do affects the masses. So it behooves us to obey God, to pray for their salvation and for God give them divine uh, knowledge and wisdom so that they can rule with diligence. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? That the decisions that they make, it will be a blessing not only to us, the believers, but to the masses. Amen. And so, Lord, we pray for the candidates that are running for political office, not only here in America, but around the world. We ask that you would save them, uh, 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 their, save their families, save their, their bloodline, uh, save their, 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 uh, their uh, supporters, Lord, uh, their, their, uh, their sponsors, Lord. Everybody who's partake, partaken in the political process, Lord, we ask that you will save them, sanctify and fill them with your Holy Spirit. Give them with your Holy Spirit, your gifts. Give them divine knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, so Lord. And we ask you, Lord, to help us, lead us, and guide us, Lord. Those who are going to be partakers of the political process, help us, lead us, and guide us to cast our vote so that we may be in agreement with your will, Lord. That we may cast a vote, you know what I'm saying, not based on personal preferences. Because we know that nobody is perfect. No political candidate is perfect, Lord. Nothing, not, not all their policies are perfect. You know what I'm saying? Some of their policies go against your will. Lord, but we're going to be partakers of the political process, Lord. We still, you know what I'm saying? Uh, have to, uh, you know, the word says love covers a multitude of sins. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We're not called to judge anyone, but we can make a judgment whether we're going to be partakers of the process or we're not. So we ask you, Lord, that those of us who are going to be partakers of the process, lead us in God and cast in our vote and to have peace about it, Lord. And we ask and pray for the candidates that you will protect them and save them and their families and all their supporters, Lord. Let there be no strife between them, Lord. And we, uh, we ask you, Lord, to help us, Lord, to be able to discern between between truth and error, between good and evil, so that we can make a, a good dis conscious decision, Lord, uh, based on, you know what I'm saying, um, who is going to be the best uh, leader or representation of our nations, of our 
uh, counties and uh, things of that nature and our states, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to help us, Lord, to choose to be partakers of those who choose the best candidate. And we ask you that you will save them and let there be no strife between them. In Jesus Christ's name, we ask and pray. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let me turn this down a little bit. God favors me. Amen. Praise God. Well, we're not getting any participation. Maybe we'll uh, bring forth the word. Or we just may just be, might be a, a short scope. I may can save this to our uh, halftime with Minister Tracy Smith uh, come back at noon, which is uh, it's 9.26 a.m. now. Let's see if we can go, just make this go until uh, 9.30 at least. I mean, you know, I could preach, but I'm going to try to uh, scratch it out. I'm thinking about uh, maybe coming back at noon, 12 o'clock noon at halftime with Minister Tracy Smith for prayer, praise, uh, worship and uh, exhortation, encouragement, and I can maybe uh, think about bringing this word forth as uh, pray about bringing this word forth uh, as well. Amen. And so we ask, uh, Lord, that you will bless this time, uh, bless this time, and that everyone who's going to watch the replay, that you will speak to their hearts, Lord, and that you will uh, save them, their family, and their bloodline, supply all their needs according to your risen glory by Christ Jesus. Moreover, give give them gifts of your Holy Spirit and bless them to be a blessing to many for your praise and glory for the building of your kingdom that souls may be saved. Amen. Praise God. Hmm. I'm tempted to bring this word right now. But um, I think I'm going to exercise restraint. You know what I'm saying? We don't have any. We had a few people that uh, showed up uh, and uh, somewhat a little bit. Oh, we got somebody here. Titus 2 1. How you doing today? Uh, how you doing in the Lord Jesus Christ today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the hearts. Amen. Share and invite your followers. Let us know your name and where you're from. Are you a born again Christian? Or has the Lord? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I can't quite see. Are you uh, a born again Christian? Are you a woman or you're a man? I quite can't quite tell from your picture the way it's shaped. I can't tell. I think you've been here before. Let me see. Maybe I could take a look. Oh, okay. That's a female. Okay. I think you've been here before. Uh, have you? Y'all got to forgive me. Sometimes I have short-term memory, but the Holy Spirit, when he put me in remembrance of the word, I can go right to it. Uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Sister, believer. Yes. Amen. Praise God. God bless you, our dear sister Titus from Jacksonville, Florida. Amen. Thank you for making your profession of faith. Thank you for being here. Share and invite your followers. If you're on an Android phone, just swipe, uh, touch your screen. If you're on a tablet or a phone, you just swipe the screen up and you can share on Twitter, your Twitter page, and you can invite your followers here on Periscope. If you're on an iPhone, you can tap the screen from left to right. You can share on Twitter, invite your followers, and you can post to your Facebook wall or a group or a friends page. Amen. Praise God. Let us know your prayer requests so we can intercede on behalf of you, your family, your bloodline. Amen. Your neighbors, your co-workers, your business associates. Amen. For those who are asked you to pray for them, we're here to make supplication and make intercession for the saints and pray according to the will of God. Amen. Let us know your prayer requests so we can intercede on your behalf. God bless you, your family, your bloodline. And God bless. Uh, thank you for sharing on Twitter. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Let us know your prayer requests. Amen. Our scripture reading is coming from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 11 through 17. It's our scripture reading for today, and we'll read that again. Our scripture reading is coming from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 11 through 17, and it reads, Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles or the unbelievers, that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may, by your good works, which they shall observe, glorify God in the day of visitation. Verse 13. Therefore, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether to the king as supreme or to governors, as to those who are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of those who do good. Verse 15, for this is the will of God, that by doing good, you may put to silence 
the ignorance of foolish men as free, yet not using liberty or freedom as a cloak for vice, but as bond servants of God. Honor all people, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Amen. Praise God. May God add a blessing to not only the hearers of his word, but the doers of his word. Amen. Amen. We we have a uh, we are we have citizenship in the kingdom of God, citizens of heaven, but we also citizens of the respective nations that we live in. And here in America, we are uh, today is Super Tuesday where a lot of states, you know, what I'm saying are going to be casting their votes for the candidates. So we can admonish you, encourage you to pray and then vote. You know, what I'm saying I was late starting starting today. Because I went out and casted my vote. I'm a Georgia voter. You know what I'm saying? So it took me less than 10 minutes. So if you're going to be partake of the political process, pray and then go cast your vote. Amen. Praise God. Let us know your prayer request. Amen. Let us know your prayer request, Sister Titus. Amen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing on uh, Twitter. Amen. If we don't get any, uh, any more participation, we're just going to... Uh, Cut this particular uh, prayer scope uh, short for the day. I started late. Usually I start eight, uh, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. And we want to go until at least 30 minutes. If we, you know, if we're not having that much participation, we're just going to do 30 minutes. If we are having participation, we'll go to 45 minutes. You know what I'm saying? And overall, if we still have participation, we would go for one hour. Jesus said, could you not watch with me for at least one hour? So that's what we want at least to endeavor to do. But we're not having participation any feedback, then we're just going to cut it short for 30 minutes. And Lord willing, then I'll come back uh, uh, this afternoon at 12 uh, o'clock uh, noon time here in the uh, southeastern portion of the United States. And I'll come back with uh, halftime with Minister Tracy's bit, family, salvation, boldness, and witnessing. Lord, we ask and pray for our dear sister Titus uh, that you will save her and her family, uh, with her family and her whole family bloodline. Save them, sanctify them, fill them with your Holy Spirit. Uh, supply all their needs according to her risen glory by Christ Jesus. Moreover, bless them that they may be a blessing to many. And as they have therefore opportunity, help them to do good unto all men, especially unto those of the household of faith. Give them gifts of your Holy Spirit. Give them divine knowledge, wisdom, understanding, strength, and power, and all the resources they need to bring you total praise and glory, to build up the body of Christ of itself in love, to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry, to boldly proclaim the mystery of the gospel, and to boldly, Lord, share their testimony, what you have done for them, uh, for your praise and glory, to build up the body of Christ of love, and to win many souls into your kingdom. Give them divine wisdom, Lord, for you said that he that winneth souls is wise, and the harvest is plenty, but the labors are few. And we ask that you will send forth more laborers into your harvest, that they may harvest many souls into your kingdom and give them multiple opportunities to share their testimony for your praise and glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we ask and pray. Amen. If you would agree with that prayer, type amen. Share and invite your followers if you haven't already done here on Periscope. Amen. Tap that screen. We ask you to pray for us and everyone that God has ordained to be here and to give a love offering of 500 hearts by tapping the screen. Amen. Also, we encourage you to go back and watch uh, yesterday's scope. Uh, it was encouraging us to, uh, uh, amen, gotta go, bro. Amen, our dear sister. Amen. Watch the replay. Amen. You can follow it on kids.me slash Tracy Smith LMT. Follow me here on Periscope. Have a super blessed day in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. And on that note, you know what I'm saying? It's 9.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to conclude this uh, portion of, um, first of all, pray with Minister Tracy Smith. We don't have a lot of participation now. Lord willing, I'm not promising you, Lord willing, I'm going to come back at 12 noon for a halftime with Minister Tracy Smith. And I think I'm going to, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, to exhort the word uh, in First Peter uh, chapter 2, verses 11 through 17. Lord willing. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, so we thank God for everybody who is here. You know what I'm saying? Like that, um, who share and invite their followers, who's given hearts, who let their requests be made known, giving us opportunities to serve you and to intercede on your behalf. Uh, we thank God for everybody who's going who's watching this on uh, Periscope.tv, who is watching this on an iPhone, on Twitter, and who's going to watch the replay. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for you. We're going to be praying for you, your family, your bloodline. 
Please pray for me, my family, our bloodline, this ministry, and all that God has ordained to be here. If the Lord has put on your heart to be a blessing to this ministry, just click on my profile picture. My profile will, uh, will pop up. You can click follow me. You'll get a notification every time I do a live broadcast. And if you're able to be here, we welcome you here and your participation. Also, you will see there my PayPal link. Uh, if the Lord put on your heart, pray about it, and you know, saying and give an offering. Uh, 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 to this ministry so we can continue to be a blessing to others for God's praise and glory for the building up of the body of Christ of itself in love uh, amen to make disciples and to boldly proclaim the mystery of the gospel and to harvest many souls into his kingdom for his praise and glory amen for God loves a cheerful giver amen praise God and so at this time we're going to uh, pronounce a benediction and a blessing over uh, everyone's life uh, who partake of this particular uh, broadcast and over this broadcast. Amen. Praise God. Hebrew, uh, coming from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20 and 21 is a benediction, a prayer of benediction and a blessing. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20 and 21. And also we want to admonish you, uh, those uh, in the United States, pray and then go and vote as well. Pray and then vote. Okay, here we go. Amen. If all hearts are clear, open, lift up holy hands without wrath and doubting. Open up your hearts to receive the blessing. Now may the God of peace, who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of, shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you what is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You all continue to have a super blessed day in the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord willing, we will be back uh, at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, uh, 12 o'clock p.m. noon uh, Eastern Standard Time. And we'll do halftime with Minister Tracy Smith. Amen. Prayer, praise, worship and exhortation, encouragement in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Let's see if we can go out with a praise or praise or worship song. Let me turn up the music. See what we got going on here. God blocked it. Amen. Yes, thank you. Y'all, excuse me. Get some tea here. Once again, I apologize for my tardiness. That's right. We're going to go ahead and end the scope. We'll get back here. Let me get my praise and worship in. Amen. God bless you. I love you.